In today's video from Rapid TCT 2022, we are taking a look at 3D printing prosthetics with filament innovations, talking high speed servos with the Escala, and talking with recent Prusa research acquisition, Trilabs. I hope you learned something new today, and let's get started. That is a big hot end. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that one is designed for pellet printing. Yeah. yeah. So how, how much are the, yeah, there's the nozzle sizes. 2.5 kilograms an hour. Yeah. More, I'm used to like 18 millimeters cubed a second. <laughs> yeah. that, which machine is this? This is Icarus. Icarus? Okay. Yeah, this is like the medium size, size machine. It uses a uh, type one, kind of medium size extruder. Yep. That's a more typical. Um, and it's pellet fed, right? Yeah. No, so the, this one is, um, this uses filament, but it's oh, does high it? flow. So okay. that can do up to 200 cubic millimeters a second. Yeah, a lot of plastic. Here, I'll show you. We sell a lot of these to the prosthetics industry. Okay. So this is like a check socket. Yeah, something that you could just print. Oh. This is done in one layer. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. wow. This yeah. is spiral base bone. So one of these takes between an hour or two. That's depending a weight on, to it. Yeah, it's fetching. Yep. So how long would this take? Uh, between an hour and two hours, okay. depending on the material. Yeah. That is solid. Yeah, one layer, that'd be... And so you just scan the socket and off you yeah. go. So my understanding, it's kind of like fitting a shoe. Yep. Um, so it takes a couple tries. So they might print one, test the fit, adjust it, and then print another. Yep. And so you can imagine making one manually, that'd be a problem. Oh god, it'd take forever. And costly. Now it takes like a day. Yeah, because once you get it yeah. done, you're done. Wow. Exactly. That's cool. And what's the, uh, what is the bet on that, PI or? Yeah, so it's PI coated aluminum. Okay, so it's not a flex plate or anything like that, no. This is kind of like an upgraded bed option to sell. Okay. The standard one is a uh, plate of uh, G10. Okay. Yeah. And servos for the axes? Uh, closed root steppers. Closed root steppers, okay. Cool. So how fast is that pushing? Um, we're running this at a default print speed of 300 millimeters per second. Okay. And Excels are set to two and a half G's right now. Uh, that's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two rips. There's servos and ball screws on all the axes. Okay. Yeah. Very rigid. So, so what machine is this? This is a Titan. Or? So, um, yeah. So, like originally, it was like a real Titan uh, robotics machine. Because um, they're one of our customers, they use our controls for okay. like their Atlas machine. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, they gave us this uh, gantry, and then we kind of revamped it. You know, added the enclosure. white enclosure. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and yeah, we changed the extruder up because uh, the ones that they had on there were just too bulky so for our. Purposes. What is that running for an extruder in hot end right now? It, oh, uh, that's the Super Volcano. Super Volcano and a Titan. Looks like, or is that it? What is that? Uh, the extruder itself. Is that a the so the super volcano? And then that's one of our servos. Okay. Yeah, that's our Sigma Mini. It's a small. Oh, that's a little servo driving the extruder. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Servos on the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Because, so yeah, you know our that. company we uh, we they you know make manufacture servos. Okay. And PLCs, so the controls. Uh, okay. Controls, servos are all ours. So along with software. Yeah. That is going. That is fast. Yeah. So, with how fast that bed's moving, are you worried if prints flying off that bed, or are they stuck pretty good with the? So, build tech there? if the build tech is uh, gets old, they uh, yeah. So you to really got to make sure you got a good first layer with yeah, this thing. Yeah. Exactly. So um, we developed a bed leveling system. So I basically there's uh, that sensor right in the front. Uh, yep. That wait no that's sorry that's the nozzle. There's a uh, the sensor. Uh, is it? The, the black yeah, one at the front there? No, it's in the back right, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, basically just go and probe, you know, spots like a grid on the back, yep. basically. And then use that information to continually be adjusting the Z uh, as you move across. Okay. So, yeah, like even right now, it's not, you know, commanding motion to Z, like per se, in the G code, right? Yep. But, you know, it's uh Yeah, it's, it's, it's adjusting for it. Okay. Cool. Neat. And what's it printing? Just PLA or ABS yeah, PLA. or PLA? Yeah. yeah, because for our purposes, we don't, uh, you know, we're just trying to show um, yeah, the motion and controls, you know. Okay. 
Cool. But yeah, um, 3D X Tech, they use their controls. Okay, yep, I've already as visited well them. Well, as uh, in 3 Systems Booth, there's, yeah, wait, okay. I told you about yeah. that one, yeah, the Atlas yeah. machine. So for a controller, what what is, is it's not, what control system is it? You like it's your own in controller? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, so it's not Marlin or Rep Wrap or anything like that. Nope. Or, nope. No. So like I, I've uh, we've kind of mirrored um, those. Uh, you know. Okay. Chico doesn't have a great standard. You know? No, because it's, it's all it's <laughs> yeah. STLs and whatnot. So I've I've gone to RepRap.com and you know. I, I even added ourselves in the tables uh, okay. for what we support. Um, so we you know, got a lot of our 3D printing G code definitions from the Okay, website. but it, it's its own custom firmware. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah, we have our own G code processor. Slicer? Then, uh, um, no, no, no uh, processor. Okay, but for, no, I mean for Slicer, is it like yeah, any Slicer? So I use Simplify 3D. Okay. Um, so I know like Gearbox 3D, they use Cura. It, it's funny, you got like, Hardware wise you got all these massive different types of machines. Right. Like, oh yeah, we just use to, we just use Prusa Slicer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then uh, on top of that we also have our own uh, front end GUI uh, to stream GPU. Oh, okay. So that's that's the icing on the cake there. Oh that's clean. What we, uh, provide. Okay. So you got current tool paths and everything. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's like part previewer, so you can preview the whole thing or you know, it's in live draw mode right now. That was a heavy duty machine. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna slice engineering, they have a booth here. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so you got, you got to swap into this yep. tool head? Okay. Uh, okay, so it's a Bond Tech, but you got your own servo strap to exactly. it. Exactly. Now, is that just for accuracy or torque, or is it just because everything else is servo, we're gonna keep this? Um, I mean, I think the stepper is the one that you could probably substitute a stepper motor for, but. You can't um, keep up, or, or is it just? Yeah, so like, um, I mean, you are right, like one, you know, we kind of do just want all our own servos on it. Uh, okay. But also, yeah, with the speeds that we push, um, having a servo definitely does help. Uh, okay. Being able to monitor the torque of the extruder. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. Take care. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, pretty, fa pretty fast, pretty fast. <laughs> the whole day, the whole day. Yeah. The morning, just, yeah. Day, just day one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, so just bought by Prusa. Yep. For how long? How long? No, it was, it's been a little. It was Christmas time. Christmas yeah. time. Huh? Nice. So you guys do professional grade deltas, pretty much, right? Yes. Since since uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we got formed. I mean, it's me and Wojciech. We, we are the the partners and, okay. and the founders. And we got uh, you know we 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 met each other. And we start. I mean, he was okay. He was he was doing his <laughs> printers already before, but uh, I mean, we decided in 2016 on, on forming the company on Delta. Okay. We, were, we still were not decided which or uh, which direction. If it will be food print or if it will be like uh, like FDM only and yep. so on and so on. But I mean, it turned to the situation that the only uh, application which which can feed you as a company is is, is, is FDM, right? So yeah, FDM. There's more of a market for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, in fact, uh, since 2017, we really started the company, and we uh, were always talking to Joe for for many years, you know. Yeah, because you're also in the Czech Republic too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 and we didn't want to do it together with him uh, from the beginning because we 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 wanted to focus on B2B. Yeah. Professional professional market, which uh, is very successful in Czech. So in the Central Europe, we are very well known. Okay. And we are always competing with Ultimaker. But the point is that we were not able to to find to find enough money to to grow to the foreign market. Okay. So the last year we decided to go with a strategic partner, and we discussed with Joe because he needed our us, us tech for his R and D. Okay. So us tech is the actively heated. Uh, oh, the the big one there. So the us tech is really the. This is a separate line. So this, as you can as you can see, this is now 75. You can go to oh, it's 70. Okay, degrees. it's isolated, so you can you cannot really really. Okay, so it. this whole thing is the unit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 heated from here to here. Here is the okay. electronics, which is uh, which is uh, isolated and actively cooled. So you can print long, long prints, you know, without any effect on the on the electronics. 
So the, the advantage of that is that you have uh, magnetically bound uh, print heads, you know, on, yep. the, on the printer, also very easily exchangeable, everything. And this is uh, this is the this is the printer, and this is exactly the, the this uh, rake, which is really from polycarbonate from Kusha, and you cannot break it. So if, if you yeah, when you it, print it, it hot, it, it's stronger versus so, open and air. That was the reason why he was uh, in, why he felt in love in this printer last summer, and when we started to discuss, we, we realized that because we thought that for him we are like uh, small guys from the B 2 B, he's not interested, and he thought that we are two small guys uh, b willing to be independent. <laughs> And only in summer we started to discuss, and we hey, that's a that's a really 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 good point to to to, um, and then we said yeah, that's it's very clear to to become. But we agree that we will remain as a trial. Okay. And we, we are only using benefits of you know. Uh, so of just like connections and like yeah, the yeah, yeah. resources. Okay. Exactly. That's that's actually really. I, suppliers, I like to see that. Suppliers, resources. Marketing, you know, PR, yeah, and all these things, and, and they're really nice guys. Yeah, so you're working so, together instead of just being completely we drink absorbed. together. And, and all, and <laughs> That's all, the best part. All these things, and sharing, sharing, you know, the material uh, su supply chain, uh, the customer base, you know, because most of the customers of Pusha are hot, hot candidates for for us. Yeah, because you, you start off on a Prusa and you grow up, you know, you get involved and then you're working for a company and they're like, hey, we need some professional printers. You're like, you know what? I've been using Prusa for years. The same slicer, you know. Yeah. Now, was, are these machines, what are they running firmware wise? I'm just looking at the controllers. Is it Marlin or RepRap? No, 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 no. This is, uh, now it's, uh, custom. It's, it's two boards. No, 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 no. In fact, in fact, uh, half of. Uh, you, have the, you have the board, the main board is Duet. Okay. It's 3 with du uh, Duet, uh, historically. Both of them already. But uh, we have the second board, which is like, uh, which is like, a, like, a, like a Raspberry. Okay. But, it, but it's made for us for all the communication. So we okay. have an independent board for, for running the printer. Because with this volume, we already need 32 bits, yep. definitely. Yeah, with and the Delta, definitely. independent one for communication, like Wi-Fi, okay. LAN. Yeah, because I'm looking, I'm like, that's a, that's a cell phone. <laughs> that's a cell phone. You can run it from your phone. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, not from iPhone. Oh, no, because, the Wi-Fi uh, here, too. Yeah. But it, no, it's, it's Bluetooth. It's, oh, it's Bluetooth. So okay. It's normal. It's our application, okay. and the normal communication is through Bluetooth because okay. we want to be Wi-Fi independent. Yeah. It's this is replacing the normal display. Yeah. So originally we wanted to have uh, like. A, and you could take it on the go if you're like working. You're checking that first layer. You control it right there. So that was the intention from the beginning. But the point is, uh, still customers want to have display on the on the printer. Yes. Yeah. You know, the original idea was to have a printer without display yeah, have running us. from your phone. For B2B, it's not possible. So, yeah. so, yeah, but, but still, uh, so we are using the same print pads now already being being produced by, by Joe. Uh, by, by, by oh, you're Rush. using their PI and Pregnant one? Nice. It's amazing. It's, it's really it's a huge, huge benefit. So now it's a, it's a desktop, uh, it's desktop printer, but uh, okay. this is a stand for the show. But we are gonna have uh, like a stand with the uh, dry box and with the uh, okay, like multi material nice, in there. Nice, nice. That's the point. Because we, we focus on the one hot end solution. Yeah. It's the best for Delta. Oh. And it's the oh. best for us. You got an E3D in there, a volcano? Okay. Sorry? Volcano? Yeah, now it's volcano, you can have super volcano, okay. uh, you can have V6, but normally it's volcano because you can combine 0 0.4, 0 0.6, you, you can combine uh, other <laughs> yeah, yeah, other uh, nozzles and so on. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, I, I didn't, well, I guess it makes sense I didn't hear about you until the acquisition and then it's like, come take a look. I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Hope things work out. Yeah, we will. I mean, you know what? I, we, we have we have we are pretty successful in local market, and it's really difficult market because you joke you have Lucia as a yeah <laughs> he's right there and he's as a, as a, as a gas <laughs> right three different thing, and then you have Ultimaker as the as the B two B brand right yeah. and we were still able to you know do head to head with Ultimaker That's so good. we know that we are successful enough and good enough yeah. to be successful also got to get the name out there and then exactly nice cool awesome good talking to you thank you cheers have a great day bye.